Welcome to the GCO Podcast, where we bridge the gap between scientific insight and the hands-on challenges of engineering practice. I'm your host, Anro. And I'm Ava. Today, we're focusing on a fundamental material that shapes the world of construction, cement. Specifically, we'll be diving into the various types of cement and their applications. This is crucial knowledge for our listeners who are professional civil engineers and concrete inspectors. That's right. Ava, let's start with the most common type everyone knows, Ordinary Portland Cement, or OPC as it's commonly referred to. OPC is renowned for its versatility and is used in everything from residential buildings to large infrastructure projects. Indeed, Anro, OPC offers high compressive strength which is perfect for structural elements. It also has a moderate setting time which balances workability with early strength gain and it's durable under most environmental conditions. Moving on to a variation of OPC, we have Portland Potsolana Cement, known as PPC. This includes a blend of potsolanic materials which not only enhances durability, but also improves sustainability by incorporating industrial byproducts. Yes, and the potsolanic reaction in PPC results in a denser concrete matrix, which is excellent for longevity and resistance to chemical attacks. It's especially beneficial for large projects like dams and bridges, and even in marine structures and water treatment plants. Next up, rapid hardening cement. This type is all about speed, achieving high strength in a shorter period, which accelerates construction schedules significantly. Rapid hardening cement is a boon for projects that need quick turnaround, like road repairs, or when working in colder climates where. Then we have low heat cement, which is particularly designed for large-scale concrete works. This type minimizes the risk of thermal cracking in massive structures like dams or thick concrete slabs. And rounding out our list is sulfate-resisting cement. This type is tailor-made for environments high in sulfate concentrations, helping to prolong the lifespan of structures in aggressive environments like sewerage systems or coastal areas. Understanding these different types of cement and their specific properties isn't just academic. It's critical for ensuring the quality and suitability of concrete and construction projects. Absolutely, Anro. Each type has its unique properties and knowing which type to use can significantly contribute to the durability, safety, and success of a project. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, you can find more scientific and practical content at gcoportal.com. And don't forget to follow us for more insightful discussions on the latest advancements in civil engineering. Until next time, keep building a smarter, safer world.